Hi, this is Mr. Sorbo again. Hopefully you have just watched my um, WHHS Choose Your Path um, elective video, which has gone over all the electives that we have to offer here at Western. Um, registration is coming up. It's actually going to be starting later this month. So now is really the time to be preparing for that so that you don't just randomly pick classes, okay? So that is why I made the video so that you could know a little bit more about all the electives. Um, after you do that, your next assignment to help prepare you for registration and we've kind of talked about this before before Christmas so that's why I'm going to go back over it because that was a whole month ago um, if you'll go to the major clarity site um, in your class link tab click on it and I've already got mine pulled up here you're going to pull up your account okay so um, I'm not sure which one will pop up first but my portfolio is at the top and it's going to show how much in the major clarity account that you have already gone over um, everyone should have already done their assessments um, if this is your first time in major clarity then the assessments are going to come come up first they will literally take you less than five minutes to do um, i say everyone should have done their assessment because i've checked and everyone has not done their assessments um, the assessments are easy you can't get any wrong they are all about you and what your interests are and based on um, your interest it will match you with the different careers that would would pair with your interest okay um, so that's the point of using major clarity and um, helping you explore careers and figuring out you know hey what do you want to do for the future um, that could include going straight to work that could in going, include going to college that could include anything um, but this is you know a point of high school is to kind of help prepare you for the future and the world of work okay so anyway if you've done your assessments then you can go to the career exploration tab um, you can check out the different um, so if you've done your assessments it's going to rank your matches in order and it's going to put your top choices up at the top of the screen so like mine I've done mine um, it put my top choices as human resources urban planning and educational administration and it tells me my fit score for each one so I've gone through and I've looked at a few and I've starred them so see I've starred human resources I've starred early childhood education um, educational support and counseling I haven't starred that one yet yes I have starred that one <laughs> um, but anyway with each one you can go in you can learn more about that program area you can watch an interview start an activity learn more about how much school after high school that you will need then you can look at the different occupations in there um, you can click on that learn more about the job learn how much um, money it would make if it's a strong growth or a low growth um, low job presence in this area but it's strong growth so um, it might be something that is growing somewhere else in the state or even in the country um, the common task associated with that job um, but then so you need to kind of be looking and to see what did it pair you up with so after I did um, my assessment um, then it's going to over on the side kind of tell you the test drives to do um, test drives are going to be again under they call it test drives in here but that's where you go through and you look and you learn more you watch the interview they you're kind of test driving that career okay then you're going to go to academic planning okay this you should have done this but if you haven't now's the time to keep you know this week and next week to go ahead and be doing that because um, later in the month of February you're going to be getting information on signing up for classes and if you go ahead and kind of get your plan together this part is not signing up for class but it's getting your plan together for you know you've got two to three weeks um, before sign up time for you to be thinking about hey what do I want to take what do I want to add in for next year what what math do I want to take what science what social studies and then what electives do I want to take okay so um, I'm going to add um, a brief video from the company of major clarity uh, along with this one for you to watch but that's something that you can be doing in preparation for um, registration like I said, that is coming up, okay? So, 
I hope that these have been helpful. If you have um, put in to see me about job shadowing, if you're a sophomore or junior, and um, I haven't seen you yet, I'm trying to get to all the ones that have signed up to see me in um, either today or next week. Um, I'm juggling between a lot of different things. Um, but if you've put in to see me um, and you haven't yet, I will see you. And uh, freshmen, at this point, um, I'm going to have to... Um, put y'all on hold for job shadowing just for um, the remainder of the year, and then you'll have the opportunity to do it again next year. Um, I um, kind of had to learn to tweak some things after first semester. Not that anybody did bad. They did great. Um, I just, with the amount of people that I'm getting, and then I'm going to have to focus on the upperclassmen because freshmen still have a few years left here. Okay? Um, if you've got any questions, you can email me. Um, like I said, you can put in to see me on um, my Google forum and um, just let me know how I can help, okay? Um, thanks, and I'll be seeing you around school. Bye.